So what will it mean for the pro-democracy camp if the result goes your way today? Um, there are several levels to uh, this election, the meaning to this election. First of all, of course, it's um, you know, the, the district seats. Uh, the majority has never been to the pro-democracy camp. So if this time we can get enough votes to get uh, the majority of the seats, that would send a very clear message to the pro-government that the pro-democracy camp is uh, stronger than ever. And on the other side of things, uh, this, you know, personally, I do think that this is somewhat of a um, non-official referendum where, uh, you know, we have been in a movement, uh, the pro-democracy movement since early June. This is the fifth month. And this is actually the first time where we have a um, official system to register the tendency of the people. And so, uh, you know, with the votes, I do think that the people um, on either side could show their real thoughts and uh, you know, how they feel about this whole movement. Uh, whereas, you know, in the past months, uh, Carrie Lam and also the pro-government uh, camp, they have been trying to deliver this message that, uh, you know, the those who are on the streets and who are fighting for the freedoms are the minority and we'll see you know with the results of this particular election i do think that uh, that would be a very clear message to the government that we are not the minority here and could you explain to the people in america and the western world what are they so afraid of what are the pro-democracy people afraid of why are they afraid of china's increasing influence here in Hong Kong? You can see that in the past 22 years uh, since the handover, Hong Kong's freedoms, whether it's the freedom of speech, freedom of press, or even the freedom of elections, it has been um, you know, narrowed down to, to a very alarming level. You know, that came from the fact that we do not have a government uh, that is chosen by the people. Uh, we do not have a chief executive who is chosen by the people. So uh, you know, with this CE who is only responding to the Chinese government, you know, they are tightening their grip on the freedoms of the Hong Kong people. So uh, you know, this is really this uh, very critical point where if we uh, do not fight and if we back down then who knows what would happen with Hong Kong you know if Hong Kong would become this China another China city uh, who, who would lose its freedoms and you know the all things that were given to us uh, in in the basic law and uh, you know with the one country two systems so uh, we do not want the one country two systems to be eroded to uh, nothing so uh, basically we are fighting very hard to to preserve uh, this Hong Kong that has been known to the world and to ourselves. Yeah. And you tweeted out something last week, I believe, that our sister company, the Epoch Times, that you and was one of the only newspapers not to include a pro mm. CCP message. Now, right, you might have right. seen that just last week, four masked men broke into a printing shop here in Hong mm -hmm. Kong and tried to light it on fire. I don't know if you saw this. There was an arson attack. Uh, I did not see that, oh. but uh, you know, it it is a fact that our press, you know. Most of our newspapers and most of our main media um, have been uh, infiltrated by uh, you know, different Chinese um, authorities and uh, companies or powers. So uh, you know, that photo that I tweeted was a very clear example of what is happening. You know, eight out of, uh, I think six out of eight newspapers uh, have the same uh, commercial the, the ad the, the pro demo, uh, pro government ad on their front pages uh, you know after a very very devastating uh, incident in Hong Kong nobody talked about it except for uh, Apple Daily and the Epoch Times so basically I think uh, you know this is something that is happening in Hong Kong and also happening in, in many different countries in the world uh, you know, including Taiwan you know, their media is bought up by a lot of Chinese companies also and Australia and uh, even in the US you know there, there are a lot of uh, different media that is starting to have uh, Chinese uh, powers in it so um, no it is not that we want to um, eliminate anyone it's only that you know when you see this very huge uh, machine that is the Chinese 
government. Uh, you know, they have all these economic powers that make a lot of international companies conform to their values. And that should be alarming to anyone who believes in these universal values and who believes in freedom. Okay, my last yeah. question. What would you like to say the Western world? People in America and people are in the Western right. governments. What would you like to tell them? It should be alarming to anyone, you know, to see what is happening in Hong Kong. Because this really is not only a fight uh, for Hong Kong, but really the, the fight between authoritarian governments and the free world. Hong Kong is just one of the examples of what could happen you know, when you let these uh, tyrants come in and you know, take over the, the situation. So basically, you know, the Chinese machines, they have been very sophisticated machines that have been working towards you know, controlling a lot of different uh, areas in the world, including you know, universities with the Confu Confucius Institute and uh, you know, so on, uh, controlling uh, different corporates, say the NBA and Blizzard. You see all these uh, international uh, corporations that con succumbing to this kind of political pressure. So if this could happen to these companies, then it could happen to you or me or anyone, basically. So you know, if you do not want these universal values you know, of freedoms, of justice, of uh, uh, you know, the freedoms of speech to, to erode and what has become of Hong Kong, then you should voice out your concerns and uh, you know, to, to make your government uh, do something about the situation. Um, well, I mean, we are very thankful for all the attention that the international media has uh, given to Hong Kong because you know, that has been something that has protected the Hong Kong people um, against further uh, police violence or the violence coming from the government. So uh, we hope that people will understand the situation uh, more, that this really is a fight, a global fight for the freedoms of the people. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.